What's up guys, welcome to Visexualization. Nestor Adrian Sen here again. Do you know how a drill through feature works in Power BI? If not, this tutorial is definitely for you, my friend. Today, guys, today we will learn how to set up a drill through destination page in Power BI. So, are you guys ready? Let's get started. For today's tutorial, I have three different points. The first one, we will learn about how to set up drill through in Power BI reports. The second point here, we will also learn how to create a drill through button. And finally, guys, as always, I have a really nice case where we're gonna put everything into practice. So this is gonna be really fun. And now let's jump to the first point. Set up drill through in Power BI reports. So this is really important, my friends. With drill through in Power BI reports, you can create a page in your report that focuses on a specific entity. When your report readers use drill through, they right click a data point in other reports page, right? And drill through to the focus page to get details that are filtered to that context. So this is really, really important, my friends. So now let's go to the next point. Create a drill through button. If you want the drill through action to be more obvious, you can create a drill through button instead. The button can increase the discoverability of important drill through scenarios in your reports. So this is important, for example, when you have a Power BI report already published in Power BI service, because you can see the drill through page in Power BI desktop, you can definitely see it, but after you publish it to the cloud, to Power BI service, you might not be able to see that page. So that's why this drill through button is uh, beneficial, okay? So we will learn more about this in our case. So now let's go to the next point. Case, okay, two questions here. The first question is, set up a drill through destination page with details about city. Use your own image for the back button. Really interesting here. So the second question here is create a drill through button that references the details about city. Okay, two questions here guys. And as always, let's jump to Power BI Desktop and start solving these questions, okay? All right, so here we are in Power BI Desktop. I'm gonna share with you guys this report as well so you can have it as reference. So before we get started with the exercise here, real quick, we have uh, three different tables here. The first table here is the fact table, which is called premium. We have details there, you can explore that. And we also have a calendar table here. It's already there. And finally, guys, we also have the DAX measures table. So we have already three measures there, okay? So you can explore more about that. We have total premium, total cost, and also we have shipping costs here. All right, so the first question was to create a drill through page, right? So how do we do that? So the first thing that we wanna do here is create a new page, of course. Click right here, new page. And if you guys recall, they ask us to create based on city, right? The first thing that we wanna do is the following. So we're gonna go to the fact table called premium here. And of course, if you guys can see here, this is under visualizations, right here, this section, right? It's called fields, right? And there is the option here called drill through. This is what we're looking for. The keep all filters is on, perfect. And the next thing that we wanna do here is the following. So we wanna drag city into this area right there, boom. If you can see right here, automatically there is a button here created, right? The back button. So we can change this as well. We will do that shortly. But the other thing that I wanna do is the following. Right now, what I'm doing is basically creating the page with all the details, right? So let's leave this as is for now and then the next thing that we want to do is create a cart. Boom. We're going to add this right here. 
and we're gonna do something really cool here. So we're gonna drag city into this car. There you go, perfect. So we wanna make a couple of adjustments here. Check this out. It's right there. So we can also increase this if we want. How about that? Okay. And we can change this, right? This is just this is just as a reference there. Okay, perfect. Let's keep selecting the car here and let's select the background. So for the background, how about if we select a different color here? How about this one? Perfect. We can also edit this. Um, let's keep going here. So how about the category of boom? There it is. See, so now we have this right there. So the next thing that we wanna do is create more details related to city. So we wanna create more charts here. So let's do that. Let's add right here a cluster column chart. It's right there. And we're gonna add right here also year, okay? And year is gonna be part of the axis, okay? There you go. And then the next thing that we wanna do is let's drag a couple of measures here into values, right? Total cost there as well. And let's make a couple of changes here if we want. There you go. We're gonna copy this, Control C, Control V. So the next thing that we're gonna do here is we're gonna change the type of chart. We're gonna use the cluster bar chart here. Boom. We can even add right here the data labels if we want. Same thing here, data labels. And we can readjust this a little bit better. Okay, so what else can we do here? So how about if we add three more cards? So let's do that. All right, perfect. So we can duplicate this if we want. Control C, Control V, right? So the next thing that we wanna do here is change the measure here. So this is gonna be total cost, and this is gonna be total shipping or shipping cost right there. Perfect, so that's how it works, my friends. We already have the details here for CD. So something additional here, and this is part of the first question, how to change the back button here? Something customized, let's say that we have a different picture, we don't like this arrow, so let's replace that. So we can do that as well. So let's delete this, select this arrow right here, and let's delete it. And the next thing that we wanna do here is go to insert and then select image. So you definitely need to have an image, right? So I already have this image here. I'm gonna share with you guys this as well. Let's select this image and then open. And there you go. We can make a couple of changes here as well, if you want. Perfect. So now we have a different button there. We need to provide more details here for this button because like it is now, it doesn't work. So let's select this button here and let's go to format image here, action. Let's activate this on and it's already there, it's called type, right? Back, perfect, that's what we want. And that's it, that's how it works, my friends. Let's say that we wanna check this, if this works. Control and then click. 
Boom. So it takes you to the other page where you were at the beginning. Okay, so let's go back to this and let's call this if we want details, right? So guys, we have created the details here. Uh, this is already a dear through page, right? Because we had a city here. It's right there. So how this thing works. So let's go back to premium here. Check this out. So let's say that you want to learn about this city, Knoxville, right? So something to be aware of here. Okay. So each chart, the chart that you are about to apply the drill through, that chart needs to have the entity, right? So remember the drill through page has as reference city. And this chart also has city as part of the visual, right? So that's why it works perfectly. So let's select this, for example, this city called San Antonio, right click here and let's see what happens. So automatically there is an option here called drill through and then details. So let's click here and let's see what happens. Boom, it takes you there, right? To the details about the city. And then if you wanna go back, hold down control, click right here. It takes you back to the page that you were at the beginning, right? So let's take another example here if we want, let's say, you want to check this data point here, 2018 March Atlanta. Select this right here, right click. And now you can see here the option drill through. Let's select details here and let's see what happens. Boom. So we have the city Atlanta. We have total premium here, total cost and shipping cost. And we have all the details for this city called Atlanta. That's how it works, my friends, okay? So the next thing that we wanna do here is the following. So this is a drill through page in Power BI Desktop. So how about if we wanna publish this report? So what we can do is we can hide this uh, page. Right click here, hide page. So now we can see this page because we are in Power BI Desktop, but after we publish this to Power BI service, this hidden page, we won't be able to see it. So now let's solve the second question. And the second question was to create a drill through button, right? So let's go back to premium here. So what we're gonna do here is let's go to insert and let's select button here and then select blank. It's right there. Let's drag this to the button here. And then the next thing that we wanna do is select this button here and let's go to button title here okay and then let's select the title here so let's call this details how about that we can also make a couple of changes here if we want so how about 20 i like 20 enter so we can add right here a background if we want right so let's select this background okay Perfect, and then we can edit this. All right, so we have there, perfect. So now let's select this button and now let's go to action. Action right here. This is not a back button, right? So we need to select here, drill through. And then destination, we need to reference the page. Remember the page, the drill through page is called details. Let's select that. Perfect. That's how it works, my friends. And now we are good to go. How does it work? It's quite straightforward, my friends. Check this out. You need to select right here, any data point. Let's select this city here called San Antonio in Texas. It's right there. And now there is the option here. Control click and let's see what happens. Boom, it takes you to San Antonio here and you can see more details about that data point. What do you think? Do you like it? I personally find this very, very helpful, okay? So now we are good to go, my friends. Let's go back to premium, hold down control back, boom. So what we're gonna do next is the following. How about if we publish this report to the cloud, to Power BI service? Let's do that. Let's go to home here. And then there is an option here called publish. Let's hit that button here. Let's save the changes. And of course, right here we have different 
work spaces. And for this particular case, we're going to select drill through. I already created this workspace. Okay. So let's select that workspace. And it says right there, you already have a data set name drill through in Power BI at B6 Alization. So what I'm going to do next here is hit replace. And let's see what happens. Success. Got it. So now let's go to Power BI service, my friends. All right, my friends, here we are in Power BI service. And now let's see how this thing works. Okay. So remember, we just published this report. So here we have just one page. What happened to the other page, to the details page? Because we hide that page, we can see it, right? So the question is, how do we know if we have uh, this feature in Power BI, right? How do we know if we have that drill through feature or those details in Power BI service? That's why we created this details button here, right? So how this thing works, the same thing here, let's select any data point, how about right here, the city called Phoenix, it's right there, automatically this uh, highlights and then let's hit this button and let's see what happens. Boom, my friends, there you go. It takes you to that drill through page and then you can see everything about Phoenix. You can see total premium, total cost, shipping cost, and also you can see other details here, like this one right here, for example, right? So that's how it works, my friends. And I hope you found this helpful. And now let's go back to our presentation. All right, guys, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If so, please give me a thumbs up, share with your friends. And of course, as always, don't forget to subscribe because you don't want to miss anything. Thank you, guys, and see you in my next tutorial.